Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up to the OpenShift dedicated trial and Red Hat OpenShift API management on cloud.redhat.com. OpenShift dedicated provides a managed, high availability version of OpenShift on either AWS or Google Cloud. Red Hat OpenShift API management deploys API management capabilities to an existing OpenShift dedicated cluster. These capabilities are provided by an instance of 3Scale API Management and an instance of Red Hat Single Sign-On. Firstly, choose Login from cloud.redhat.com. If you have an existing account, you may already have quota, but if not, choose Register for a Red Hat account. Fill in the registration form. You can use either corporate or personal account type. And after that, it's a pretty typical registration form. And once you've filled it in, you'll be redirected to cloud.redhat.com. Once you've logged into cloud.redhat.com, you're going to want to choose the OpenShift menu item on the left. From here, you can access your OpenShift clusters, downloads, and subscriptions. So the first thing you should probably check out is the download section. You can see it's highlighted here. So if I click into the download section, there's one really important piece of software here, and that's the command line interface for OpenShift. So I recommend you download that. The other tools are not really necessary for the rest of this video or even to use OpenShift dedicated. After this, you can check your subscriptions. Here you can see the annual subscriptions available on my account. I have 40 vCPU available for one OpenShift dedicated cluster. Now I can choose my clusters on the left and you can see I don't have any, so it prompts me to create one. I'll choose create cluster and I'm given the option to create a trial cluster because my quota is for trial. So if I click that, I'm presented with two options and also a little welcome message about the cluster manager. This pop-up tells me that I can use GCP or AWS to provision my cluster into. It lasts for 60 days and can be converted to a paid account after that. I'm going to use AWS in this demo, so let's head over to AWS now. Over in AWS, I need to configure my identity and access management. And specifically, I need to create a user in here. So if we click the users link, you can see I already have a few users in my list, but the one that I'm concerned with is the OSD CCS admin. So I've already created that user, but if you haven't, you can just add it up here in the top right. It's a programmatic user type, so just check that when you're creating it. Also, you need to add it to the administrator access group so it needs admin permission to provision resources in your AWS account. When you do finish this flow, you should get access keys. Um, but if you don't, you can come over here and create a new access key. Once you have an access key in hand, you can head back over to cloud.redhat.com. So back on cloud.redhat.com, choose AWS. And we get a little pop-up explaining basically what I just explained, but it does have links to documentation that you should check out too. Now, since this is a free trial cluster, I can't choose standard, but what I'm gonna do is fill in my AWS account details here and scroll down so you don't see them. So now I filled out my AWS account details. I can enter a cluster name, choose a region. I'll just leave it at the default of uh, North Virginia and set availability to single zone because multi-zone will be more expensive and this is just a demo. I'll stay with the standard general purpose node type that's selected and I'll choose six of those. That's more than enough for this um, uh, trial cluster. And I'll leave everything else with the defaults and select create cluster. Now the create cluster phase, it can take up to half an hour. So you can see it's spinning here and, and working. So once I come back, I should have a cluster. And there we go, the cluster is ready. And the next step is to install our API management add-on. So I'll select the add-ons, choose OpenShift API management, click install, and select the default CIDR range here. Now, if you're using a more complicated cluster setup with a, you know, VPCs or VPN, then you might want something different there, but I'll go with the default. I'll also enter an email address for notifications related to my API usage alerts. Uh, you can enter multiple emails. I'll just enter one here and for quota, Evaluation is all I have available, so I'll pick that. And I then I just need to acknowledge now that my cluster resources will be used by API management. So once I do that, click Install. 
and that's the installation process kicked off. So this again can take half an hour or even up to 45 minutes at times. So while that's working, we can add an identity provider to this cluster. So the identity provider I'll choose is GitHub, but you do have various options available. GitHub is easy for this demo. So I'll go over to my GitHub organization, choose developer settings and select a new OAuth app. So I'm going to create a whole new OAuth application here, give it a sensible name. So I'll do OSD roam trial, put in a homepage URL. For me, that'll be cloud.redhat.com, but it's not massively important for the sake of this demo. And then I'll click register with the callback URL that I copied from the cloud.redhat.com UI. I'll copy the client ID of the app across, generate a secret, and now I'll also copy that across here. And the last step is to specify I want to use organizations to log in and specify that my organization members are left log into the cluster. So that's done. And the next thing I want to do is add some admin users. So I will add myself, which is my GitHub username as a dedicated admin user. That takes just a second. And now we just have to wait for the add-on to finish installing in the background. Now the add-on is installed. We can actually verify that by going to the add-ons tab and seeing that it's got a nice green check mark. So I will now open the console and I'm logging into my OpenShift dedicated cluster at this point and I'll log in using my GitHub identity provider. So I'll scroll down, authorize the access and I will be redirected to my OpenShift dedicated dashboard. From here, I can find the Manage Services list in the top right, and I can choose the API Management Dashboard to log in to 3Scale. Initially, I'll be prompted to log in with my IDP again, and there's a brief redirect before I'm brought to the 3Scale Dashboard. Once I'm on the 3Scale Dashboard, I can use it just like I'm used to in any other 3Scale uh, environment. If I jump back to the OpenShift dedicated dashboard now, I can click on the dropdown again to find the API Management SSO instance. I can click on that and I can also log in to the admin console there. And again, that uses my GitHub identity provider. And from here, I can manage clients, realms, and authentication for my APIs. And that concludes this video. You've installed OpenShift dedicated on AWS and you've added API management and SSO capabilities to that cluster. You're now ready to manage your APIs.